Hello everyone, it's Danielle with The Victorious Planner and I'm so glad that you stopped by my channel. In this video today, I'm gonna be decorating my uh, weekly spread in my social media planner, which I'm currently using the Homebody Classic Happy Planner with the dashboard layout uh, for my social media. And this spread is for the week of September 7th. And the 7th is Labor Day, so happy Labor Day. You'll actually probably be watching this video after Labor Day. So I hope that you had uh, a really awesome day. Hopefully, if you had the day off, you had a really good extended weekend. If you worked, I obviously still hope that that was really uh, a good day too. <laughs> All right, so um, it for this spread i actually decided to pull stickers out of the i heart stickers brights um this is one of the mega sticker packs and in this they have these beautiful cute flowers um they have some that are on the clear background and then some on the white background and you can see i pulled most of the white background ones but i figured you know since we're kind of at that crossroads between summer and fall um you guys i am really like excited and ready for fall but i figured before i start to get more into fall like spreads i decided to try um just doing another one with kind of the summery flowery feel to it um i really do have to get more honestly get more fall stickers before i start decorating my spreads for fall i have one book the I think I only have one the squad life book that um does have a few pages of fall themed stickers but that's about it so definitely got to stock up on some of those but yeah so like I said I'm gonna kind of do one more spread at least with the bright florals I'm sure I'll do more floral spreads throughout the year but I really am excited to kind of get into the fall spreads and then Christmas and I probably will have to mix it up in between my you know like themed holiday themed spreads um, unless I really work on boosting my collection <laughs> okay so I'm taking these stickers and I'm actually really glad I wasn't quite sure if they'd cover those squares that were there fully but it looks like they do so I'm just covering those up and yeah, I think I'll just lay that down all the way there. And then I'm gonna get some labels. So if you've seen me social media plan before, I kind of found a rhythm that I've just been sticking to. Um, I may change it up again someday, but this is really working for what I do now. So I have a list over here of YouTube videos I want to create. And then my next list is the thumbnails that I need to create for each YouTube video. That's not like something you have to do. Um, if you don't create a thumbnail, it'll just show a random clip from your video, like um, as when people are searching for videos, like the picture of your video, it'll just be a random clip um, or image from your video. You can choose I think from a few different options or like select the part of the video you want to show up as the picture but I just think the um, best thing to do is to cr actually create a thumbnail so it looks a little more professional and you can pick exactly what you want your picture to be I actually use Canva so if you've not heard of Canva it is an app or a program where you can create, I mean, you can do so much more than YouTube thumbnails, but I, that's what I use to create my YouTube thumbnails. And I just, I think they turn out really well. Um, I think, <laughs> I definitely probably still need some practice, but it's just a way to put together your thumbnail. You can put your titles on there, you choose your pictures, kind of whatever, however you wanna do it. And then, like I said, on that app, you can do so much more like you can create banners um they have different things that you can create that are sized for different things like like the youtube banner on you know your youtube channel um your facebook banner profile pictures instagram posts i think they probably even have stuff sized for instagram stories i mean i feel like you name it and it's probably on there <laughs> um and then they have 
just a diff a lot of different ways you can edit uh, those things right on that app and they do have one of the nice things is it's it is free of course you don't get access to everything if you just do the free version you can upgrade um, and I'm, I'm not sure how much it costs to upgrade but um, you can upgrade if you want more you know access to more of their stuff So, so yeah, I just use the free version and it does everything that I need it to do, at least for this season. So I definitely recommend if you are a content creator and you haven't checked it out before, definitely check that out. Just trying to figure out, I want to overlap these a little bit. Maybe it's hard to overlap when you have the extra white though because then you're cutting off half of the other flower I'm not sure yeah I'm just gonna go for it yeah Okay, so we have YouTube videos, thumbnails. This is my list of pictures I wanna take for Instagram posts, just the regular picture, you know, posts that show up on the main page of the Instagram profile. And then down here is my list of Instagram videos or IGTV videos. And I usually, what I have been doing, I may try something new in the future, but I've been just taking these plan with me videos and adding uh, music and speeding up the video. So you don't actually hear me talk in those ones. I just kind of speed up um, the video and just put music to it. So it's kind of like a quick version of these plan with me videos. And I've been having so much fun with those. So those are over on my Instagram IGTV. Uh, videos tab on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram already, head over there and check it out if you are on Instagram. Um, yeah, so I do, I just do a little bit of different content on YouTube and Instagram. Okay, so I think, I think that'll do it for this Side. move over to our other side and then up here is where I list out the actual days that I want YouTube videos to post so it's similar to this list but it's it's different in that I just record the day that I either want to schedule it or have already scheduled it um, and uh, sometimes I will just use this box because it does have the letters for each day of the week but I also sometimes just cover it up with a totally different box and then just write in the days of the week or the dates. And that's what I'm going to do this week. Hopefully I can get it down straight. <laughs> And then I want to kind of tie in this other side. So these will I'll actually be using for checklists. I may or may not draw a little extra box where I can actually put a check mark um, on there. But I want to tie in this other side. So I'm just going to use this as like a border in between these boxes. gonna throw this in here. 
to fill in that little gap and just kind of add a little, just add a small little touch of something else. So do all the things, check it off. Okay, and then I wanna put some flowers over here. With these flowers, I'm gonna have probably a little bit more decoration on this weekly spread than I've had on some of them. I know I shared that before, but my social media is my more functional spread. Um, I mean, I have checklists and other things on my other spread too, but this one ends up being just, you know, like mostly checklists and stuff. So there's not often a lot of decoration, but adding these flowers in does give it more than usual, I think. Okay. Oh, I like how that is looking. These flowers are so pretty. Okay, so one last thing I want to add is just a flower on every day of the week over here. And this is where I'll actually plan and write out which... Um, posts I want to actually have post to Instagram on the specific days. I've also been starting to write over here. So here's where I list out the pictures I want to take and prepare for posting to Instagram and then the IGTV videos, of course. So I've also been writing the videos over here too when I figure out what day I want to schedule them to post for. So even though I'm still using just one, like one bullet point or in this case, one flower, I have found myself often writing more than one thing in each of these days. Um, sometimes I do multiple posts, but then now that I'm posting videos, I'll write those out too. So, so for whatever reason, I haven't started adding more bullet points or, you know, things, but I, I might get to that. Um, all right. So there we have it. This, I think will do it for this spread in my social media planner. And thank you guys so much for joining me for this plan with me video. Uh, if you had fun watching, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love if you'd hit that subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video, there is a little bell icon that you can click and you will get notifications too. All right. Well, thanks again, you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.